Hey guys, <clears throat> Matt here. Today's hiking adventure brings me to Sunny Hill Restoration Area. It's kind of right on that border of Ocala National Forest and looks like it's south of that other trail I did not too long ago, the Levee Loop Trail. It's kind of south of that. So it looks like it goes up, kind of borders or across the road from the Ocala National Forest. It says it's about 12.5 mile loop and it looks like it's mostly grassy so far so of course grass is real wet. It looks like the, this start of the loop has a little bit of shade since it's early but it looks like a lot of this is going to be like the other one it's going to be out in the open in the sun so it'll probably be pretty toasty today <laughs> but Otherwise, it's pretty nice. It's probably mid 70s, and it's warming up quick. So, all right, guys, I'll get back with you in a little bit. Alrighty. Got a little, looks like a little viewing tower here. So I'll go up and take a look. Looks like a couple stories. And this little water over there. And then way off in the distance is a Kala National Forest there. And this here's the overlooking the Sunny Hill area. And there's the trail that continues around. Not too high, but you still get some better views. All right, guys, see you in a little bit. Hey guys, Matt here. I'm about three miles down the trail. And it's going pretty good. At least there was a real nice section there for a little bit. It was probably a mile or so that was in the woods. So that was a nice surprise. And it was real nice. Nice, like typical trail and big trees and everything. And now we're kind of out. At least it's still grassy trail, but at least there's a little more trees around you. It makes you feel like you're still in the woods other than the, the open area like that earlier. But at least there's some clouds right now. It's helping. <laughs> but not too far from the road and then across the street, the road there is Ocala National Forest. So we're right there, almost beside it. But other than that, it's definitely warming up. Oh, it's humid too, man. I'm sweating like crazy. <laughs> but 
been going pretty good. I haven't seen too much. Some birds and squirrels and stuff, but did see some tracks of maybe some some kind of bobcat or something like that, but I didn't see any. But all right, guys, I'll get back with you in a little bit. All righty. Right off here, the, off the trail, here's a little, it says group camping area here. St. John's River Water Management District, tent camping. A nice little fire ring with some benches and some picnic tables with a little pavilion. And lots of nice area. A lot of nice oak canopy and all kinds of stuff with a lot of nice oaks. It's a lot of area to Set some t tents up and looks like some tie offs, maybe for some horses or something. This is pretty nice here, and it looks like a non -pot potable water pump over there. But looks real nice, nice flat, and that's a nice shade and everything. Right off the trail here, toward the northern part of it. But last few, it's been pretty real nice. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Hey, guys, Matt here. I'm about a little seven miles down the trail, and it's going pretty good. After the saw that one little campsite and stuff, and then it comes down a little bit, and then when I looked at the map on all trails, it looked, you know, start heading down this way. So I'm going, and I don't see the turn. I'm like. I was getting close to the one uh, parking area. So I'm like, oh, maybe it's down by the parking area. And then you kind of loop, go around to the other side of the loop and nothing. I came back through, so I don't know. They must have missed a turn and bushwhacked or something. And I was like, I ain't doing that. <laughs> so I just came back down and then I saw where the turn was. So that sometimes that happens when you're following all trails maps because they're pretty much user generated so if they hike somewhere off the trail and bushwhack then that's what it looks like for everybody else that uses that map <laughs> so but we're back on the other side loop heading back so shoot that was probably half mile to a mile extra that I was looking around trying to find where the trail was <laughs> but other than that's going good. After I talked to you last, I saw about four deer. And the one surprising part was I saw three bucks together and they had pretty good sized racks. And I don't think I've ever seen that in all my years in the woods, hunting and everything else. I've never seen three bucks together, especially like that. So, but I haven't seen anybody. It's been real nice and peaceful after a little while ago kind of get away from the road a little bit so now we're but it's been this back part's been kind of nice there was a lot of deep deep woods and shade and everything so but I think this other side of the loop's going to be back to kind of grass trail out in the open <laughs> so all right guys I'll get back with you in a little bit all righty
Hey guys, Matt here. Well, I made it back. It took me 13 miles and about a little over five hours. Well, overall, it was a really nice day. Definitely warmed up. It was, the clouds didn't agree with me toward the end there. Clouds getting some good clouds and there's lots of clouds overhead, but just not a cover in the sun <laughs> where I was. So it got, it was probably around 102, feels like temperature by the time I was getting back. But, well, it was real nice. You know, trail's in real good shape. A few spots were a little, a couple spots where you could see, you know, it was a little wet spots where you could walk around easy and stuff. And there's definitely some spots where later on in the rainy season, it would probably be wet there, but it looked like they mowed not too long ago, so it wasn't too bad. So, and there's some real nice areas, nice woodsy areas and stuff. The nice tree cover, man, it was really nice. So, overall, it was a really nice day. I got to see some deer and some birds, and I didn't see anybody on the trail. I did see quite a few boaters because the last part of the loop you walk by the Oklawaha River. So, I saw lots of people on the river and boats and jet skis and all that. But other than that, I didn't see anybody. It was real nice and peaceful, just pretty hot there toward the end. <laughs> but this was the Sunny Hill restoration area loop trail and right right kind of almost right across the street from the Ocala National Forest and it's kind of south of that levee loop trail I did not too long ago well as always I thank you for watching I do appreciate it and if you haven't already I should love it if you subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this video I'd love it if you'd hit the like button for me and if you have anything for me just let me know down below in the comments I'll make sure to get back to you well, this is Matt signing off. I'll see you next time. All right, thanks, guys.